We are set. All right. So welcome to Wednesday yoga, the um, hot power vinyasa yoga that you came to, right? So we'll get into our gentle yoga today. So as usual, let's find our comfortable seats. And the sun is shining, which makes me so happy for today. It's a nice little spirit lift. So today, let's settle in with the mantra in the spirit of the sun and being joyful with the mantra Ananda Hum. Ananda Hum. And that means I am bliss or I am joy. Man, couldn't we all use that? Good morning, Jeanette. So Ananda Hum. Let's bring our hands into our heart center. Close your eyes down. Take your shoulders up by the ears and then roll them down your back and open. Gently lift the crown of your head. And let's just call to mind something that brings you joy. I look at that bluebird sky today and that brings a smile to my face. What else brings a smile to your face today? And let that smile come across your cheeks. And centering your heart on that joy and on that smile, Ananda Hum. And starting off our Wednesday, cultivating that inward joy. And when we've got inward joy, we're able to show it outward and spread it, which is always lovely. You can flutter open your eyes. Let's do some breath work. Inhale, the arms up overhead. And exhale, wide open to a T. Inhale, fingertips to touch, long in front. Exhale, back to heart. Couple more rounds, inhaling up. Exhale, open. Inhale to touch. Exhale, center. Last one on your own, nice and slow with intention. Breath and movement. And exhale back to center. I would say breath, movement, and intention all help us. On deliver on yoga, right? A little bit different than just regular exercise. Bringing the palms of your hands together, clasping your fingers, pushing your hand, um, palms out in front. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, round your back. Seated cat cow, inhaling up. Exhale, round. Again. And through. And this time when we're at the top, we'll turn to the right and float our arms down, gazing over our right shoulder, flipping the right palm up and sweeping up and across the body, really lengthening the side body. Exhale, release that down. Hands on either half side as we scoop it up. Rotate left, float arms down, gaze over left shoulder. Flipping the left palm up, sweeping up and across. Exhale that down. And hands on either side as we inhale, scoop. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips to the mat. Walking the fingertips forward as you lengthen your lower back. Feel active through your side bodies and armpits all the way to your pinky fingers. Let your head be heavy. Let's walk fingertips over to the right. Feel that long line of energy from your left hip all the way to your left pinky. Take a really slow breath here to your belly. As we come back to center, let's walk over left. Same thing, feeling that really nice stretch all the way on our right side. 
making your way back to center and then slowly bring yourself all the way back up, shoulders back and down and work with our shoulders and just begin to do some shoulder circles. As we bring our shoulders up towards our ears and down our back. And then begin to reverse your direction. Pulling the shoulders forward, that always feels a little unnatural, but will not move away that's a little unusual for us. Great, and then come back to stillness. Take both of our hands out to the side as we bring our right ear to our right shoulder. And stay right here if you like to lift the right hand up. For resistance, go ahead. Stretching out your neck. And release, come back to center and take the ear over to the left. Left hand comes up. Remembering to breathe. And then we'll release that and come back up to center. Heading to our mat, to all fours. Get yourself set up. Pad the knees if you like. And we'll begin with some cat cows as we inhale up and then exhale round. Inhale through, exhale round the back and this time begin to just gently set your hips down into a closed leg child's pose. And take your cat cow all the way through one more time, inhaling up. Exhale, rounding. And bringing the hips back. Coming back up to center, let's drop our hips over to the right. Look over the left shoulder. Back to center, drop left, look right. And take that one more time on each side. And back up to center. Right leg comes along behind us, ball of the foot on the mat, stretching through the heel first, giving the calf a good stretch. Breathing into that. As you lift that leg parallel to your hip, hips are squared. Left arm up, thumb pointing to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, elbow to knee. Four more. Exhale. Two more. And last one. Bring that leg forward. Planting your left hand, sweep the right fingertips up to the ceiling. Beautiful. And bring that hand back down. Inhale, both arms up overhead. We'll exhale, open to cactus. Inhale, lengthen fingertips to the ceiling as you exhale, open to a T. Float the right arm down and back up. And let's put both hands now on the inside of the right foot, going into runner's lunge. So take your foot over to the edge, fingers and toes line up. You can curl your left toes under and slide the leg back. Bow your head. If it's in your practice, you can come down to elbows. Find your version of runner's lunge that really lets you begin to soften your right hip and open up your left quad. Take two long, slow breaths here. And then as you're ready, come back up on your hand. We'll take the right hand on the outside of the right foot and heel toe back to center. Use your hand, we'll walk backwards with our hands so that you can straighten your front leg. Let's just have our nose going in the direction of our knee, flexing and pointing that front foot. Just giving your 
hamstring and your IT band to stretch. If you're feeling tight and you want to give yourself a little bit of a massage here, but let's just take a moment. Just hold for a second here and let those muscles soften. Take a nice slow breath. We'll bring our hand on the inside, bring that right knee back to the mat, coming back down to all fours. Inhale up to cow, exhale round to cat and push your hips back. One more flow through, inhale up, exhale round and back. Lifting yourself back to all fours. Left foot, follow the foot comes and extends behind you on the mat so that you can push through the heel. Let's release any tension in the calf and the arch. Remembering to breathe. And then begin to lift the left leg, even with your hips, right arm out, inhale, lengthen, exhale in, elbow and knee, four more. Last one. Bring it on through. Planting the right hand, sweep the left fingertips up. Bring the hand down. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open left to our T. Float your left hand down and back up and float both hands now inside of your left foot. Heel toe to the edge, fingers and toes line up, set yourself up with your version of runner's lunge on this side. Extending your leg, your back leg, coming onto your elbows, whatever's in your practice. Hold and breathe. Come back up on your hands. Left hand on the outside of the foot as we heel to it back to center. And then use your hands to walk back as you straighten the front leg. Pointing and flexing that foot. Massaging your hamstring if it needs it. Remembering to breathe. And as you're ready, let's lift that leg back to the mat, taking our knees wide, our big toes to touch, making your way down into wide leg child pose, forehead reaches the mat, heels, hips are reaching towards the heels. Hands are extended so that all four corners of your palms are making contact with the mat, releasing down your fingertips and just feeling your arms active all the way to your armpits. Take a couple slow breaths here. Ananda hum. Come back to that smile in the beginning. Ananda hum. I am joy. Lifting up your hips, curling your toes under, finding down dog. Bending one knee, straightening the other. Find stillness in your dog when you're ready. Heels reach towards the mat. Legs are lengthening while the belly's reaching towards the thighs. Let the head be heavy, shoulders away from the ears. As we roll forward, nice and strong core into plank. And on your exhale, push yourself back up to down dog. Let's do that two more times. Inhale forward. And exhale back. <sighs> Inhale forward. Hold this time. Five, four, three, two, one. Push yourself back. Walk your feet forward, standing forward fold at the top of your mat. Once your head be heavy, place your hands on 
your shins as you inhale up to a halfway lift, whack back. Exhale, fold down. Micro bend your knees, hands on either side as you inhale yourself all the way up to standing, slight back bend. Fingertips to touch, hands to the heart. So you're just celebrating a new moon in Taurus, I think last night or around this time. So I thought moon salutations feel like a good idea, right? So let's prepare for our moon salutations. Our feet are about hips width apart. Hands are at heart center, gaze is forward. Inhale your closed palms up overhead. Exhale them through heart center as you forward fold. Lowering down your hips, find your squat. Inhale here. Set your hands down, exhale back your left knee. Sweep your arms up overhead. Arms sweep down and back up, right knee joins. Float to child's pose. Inhale into low cobra. Top of the feet push into the mat. Exhale, take yourself back to child's pose. Inhale up on both knees, arms overhead. Step the left knee forward, float the hands down and back up. Step right foot forward, coming back to your squat, hands at the heart. Inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips, forward fold. Hands come up to your heart center, slight back bend. Hands return to home. Pause here. Let's do the opposite side. Inhale, hands on overhead. Exhale through the heart and fold. Lowering the hips, hands to heart, squat. Pause here. Set the hands down, right knee comes back. Float the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms down and back up, left knee meets, slight back bend. On your exhale, float down to child's pose. Inhale, forward into low cobra. Curling your toes, pushing back child's pose. Inhale up on both knees, arms overhead. Right foot forward, sweep arms down and back up. Step the left foot forward, coming back down to squat. Exhale, hips come up, forward fold. Inhale, hands back up through heart, slight back bend. And then hands come back into heart center. And we've completed one round. We'll do the next one just a little bit faster. One on each side. So ground yourself here. Take a nice slow breath and we'll begin. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale through center, forward fold. Kneeling down into squat. Hands on the side, left knee back. Sweep arms overhead. Sweep arms down and back up, right knee meets. Exhale, float to child's pose. Onto your belly, little cobra. Pushing back, child's pose. Inhale up on both knees, arms overhead. Left leg forward, sweep arms down and back up. Step the right foot forward into squat. Inhale here. Exhale, fold hips up. Hands come back up through the heart, slight back bend. Hands back to heart center. Nicely done. One more. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale through the heart and fold. Lowering the hips down to squat. Inhale here. Hands on either side, step the right knee back, sweep arms overhead. Sweep arms down and back up, left knee on the mat. Float down to child's pose. Inhale forward into low cobra. 
pushing back, child's pose. Inhale, up on both knees, arms overhead. Right leg forward, sweep arms down and back up. Curl the left toes, step forward into your squat. Inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips and fold. Palms come up to your heart center, slight back bend. Bring the hands back to heart center. And then let's let our hands come down on either side. Roll the shoulders back and down. Gaze is forward and close the eyes. Mountain pose. So grounded in the four corners of your feet. Feel the effects of your practice so far. Just take a moment here, returning to Ananda Hum. You can open up your eyes. We'll do a balanced posture next. So we're gonna do the one where we're into like one-sided cactus and then we head into warrior three. So if you'd like to have a wall to balance on for warrior three, feel free to do that. So we begin with um, feet, hips width apart, shoulders back and down. I like to start with my hands on the hips. I'm gonna ground into my left leg as we lift our right knee up at a right angle and bring that right knee out to the side and hold it with your right arm. And then let's bring our left arm up into cactus. So this could be a great balance posture and stay right here. Otherwise, come back to center, hands to the heart, and we're gonna to begin to rotate forward, hinging at the hips and kick forward that back leg into warrior three. So as you've got your spot where you're rooted down in your left foot, you're extending out the right leg so that the toes are pointing down behind you, trying to keep your back flat. You can have hands at the heart, hands extended out, or you can have be grabbing onto a wall wherever you are. Take a breath here and then see with intention if you can begin to come out of it and bring that right knee back up to the right angle and then lower that foot down. And take a nice little wiggle there. All right, let's try that on the opposite side. So find your rooted position, grounding in the right leg, lifting the left one up, bringing it out to the side and bringing your right arm. You can stay here. You wanna try to fly in warrior three, bring it back to center, hands to heart and start kicking that leg back behind you. I'll turn so you can see that. Right, toes pointing down, hands can stay at the heart. Try to have your hips level if you can. It's gonna be our tendency to wanna to open up a little bit. See if we can keep that flat back. And then when you're ready with control, see if you can bring that leg back through up to its right angle position and then set it back down. And let the hands float down, give yourself a wiggle. Well played, well played. All right, let's inhale our arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Begin to lower yourself down to your mat and we're gonna do cow face pose. So if you'd like to elevate your hips with a blanket or a block, feel free to do that. I'll show you how we're gonna get into it. So our left leg is gonna be down first with our knee pointing forward. Um, our right leg can either just cross like so where you keep the foot on the ground and you can do the posture this way. Or if you're feeling a little bit limber today and you want to stack your legs on top of each other, you can do that as well. So simply you're gonna bring that foot back and you can start to see how my knees are stacking to go a little deeper, remember, what we do is we lift up our hips and walk our hands forward a little bit and then settle yourself back down. And I like to have my hips elevated a little. So if you're in cow fake pose this way, it's like um, both of your feet are out to the side. It's almost at the tops of your feet are starting to be on the mat. If that's not where your hips are at, no worries. You can just cross that leg over. If it's uncomfy even to have the, the left leg bent, you can always straighten that. So 
find your modification here, okay? And then we'll take our right arm up overhead, bending at the elbow, and our palm is at the base of our neck. Left arm is out to the side as we bend that at the elbow as well. And we're trying to reach those fingertips towards each other on our back. I can reach on this side and when we go on the other side, I can't, so you'll notice some differences. But so you're sitting up nice and tall and here you are in cow face pose. So take a couple of nice belly breaths here. And then as we're ready, we're gonna release our arms and bring our fingertips out in front of us and begin walking the fingertips forward and bowing forward wherever you are. Knee comes towards the nose. You'll start to feel that release in your lower back and a really good stretch in your hips. Let's hold that for a moment and breathe. And then as you're ready, roll yourself back up. All right, lots of different ways. Do you guys remember there's different ways? You can just switch out your legs or you can do the fun spin move. So if you wanna do the fun spin move, you are standing up, lifting your hips. And my legs are still crisscrossed. I'm gonna rotate myself behind and spin all the way around and come back down and sit my hips down. It's like a kindergarten move. So if you wanna do it, you could do that way. Otherwise, you're taking your right knee is bent now. Our left leg is across. You can be on the sole of the foot, remember, or you can stack your knees. If you're stacking your knees and you wanna go deeper, lift up the hips and set yourself back down. Left arm, arm comes up, bending at the elbow. Right arm bends and our fingertips are trying to reach for each other. Sitting up nice and tall and take a breath here. And then as you're ready, release the hands down and wherever you are, see if you can bow forward and walk yourself forward some for a nice release of your back and deepening of your hip stretch. Take a nice final breath here and slowly bring yourself back up. Let's take both of our legs out long in front are flexed. Inhale, arms overhead and exhale, forward fold. Feel that link that we've created. I'm finding that for just doing my first forward fold, my fingertips are coming all the way down to my ankles and tops of my feet, which is limber for me. So we've done some nice opening up. I hope you can feel that. Take one more nice slow breath here and begin to roll yourself back up. And then you can take yourself all the way down to your mat. Going down towards Shavasana, but let's first bring our knees in towards our chest. Take any last movements here that would feel good for you. If you'd like happy baby, or if you need to windshield wiper your legs, see what your body is calling for. And then as you're ready, Let's extend ourselves out into Shavasana. Let your palms be facing up on either side, your ankles come out. Release any tension in your face and your jaw. Softening the shoulders, elbows, wrists, palms of the hands and fingertips. Relaxing our chest, ribs, belly and hips. Letting our thighs melt, calf, ankles, soles of the feet and toes. Breathing in the mantra, Ananda Hum. Ananda Hum. I am joy. And let a smile come to your face that you can take with you into your day. Dust the tips of your fingers with your thumbs and wiggle your toes. 
We'll stretch our arms above our head, reaching along with one side and then the other. And then begin to make your way, rolling onto one side and coming back up so that we can close practice as we do with our cleansing breath. And an om and three shantis. Hands at the heart. Cleansing breath first. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, mouth. <sighs> Inhale to chant. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May there be peace in our hearts, peace in our words, peace in our thoughts. Have a beautiful day. Ananda hum. Namaste. Thank you for coming. <laughs>